hey, Rachel, why don't you take us away with the Discord community questions and get uh, Stephen all warmed up for our Discord community? <laughs> all right, Stephen. So uh, the first question that we like to ask all of our guests to take you back to your childhood is what your favorite toy was as a child? I think, you know, the greatest toy that I had was my friends. And I say that because I am a people person. Um, you know, I believe that you don't own things. We don't own things. They own us. So I grew up in a city of neighborhoods with people, um, with a, an amazing amount of cultures, an amazing amount of warmth. And those were my toys. Our differences were our toys because they were something to learn for, from and play with, not exploit and hold against each other. So I think growing up in the community that I did, uh, with the parents that I had, with the support that I had, was one of the most wonderful, one of the most blessed opportunities. You know, and I, I, I didn't grow up wealthy. I didn't grow up privileged. I grew up loved. And that is the common denominator that I carry forward with today. The greatest natural resource in the world is the untapped potential residing in marginalized communities. So the, the greatest toy that I have and the greatest entertainment I have are people in my community and those that I choose to spend time with, not the crap that I buy off a shelf. I mean, I'm, I'm amused as a kid by insects, by bugs, you know, by kids farting in a room and figuring out who did it. You know, those were the things that my childhood was amazing. You know, I mean, I never owned a watch until I got a job. Um, you know, I think the coolest toy, if I had to put it as an object, it was a bicycle. And I didn't have the fanciest bicycle, but I had a bicycle. And it allowed me to go places and do things faster um, than, you know, than just walking. Um, so it was, you know, my vehicle to the world, so to speak. Tools that empower. It seems like it's been a, a, a you know, predominant story in your life. <laughs> Using right. tools that empower. Yeah. But that people thing. Wow. I think in working with children too, it's very obvious as soon as you popped on your energy level that you work with children and it's fitting and that, you know, th that people are your whole life. It's, it's awesome to me that you're the first person to give a non-material answer as their gut response to that question. And I work with kids too. And I think more than just maybe more specifically than just people, kids are the greatest untapped resource we have because they totally have limitless potential, you know, and the thing that keeps them from maybe meeting the potential they have is a lot of times it's adults, you know, and the circumstances we put them in and the, the ways we, we fail in educating them. In my lifetime, I have seen people gone from fighting for equality um, and fighting for equity. And let's talk about, you know, the Black Lives Matter mo movement, yeah, you know, for yeah. fighting for, you know, there were two water fountains you could drink from both to fighting for equality to now in many cases fighting for our very existence. Yeah. So, you know, 50, 60 years later, have we really come far as a people? I don't know. We're so caught up in the material game, you know, poor black people. At least the water fountain worked. Now there is no damn water. Right. You know, that's the next so, generation. So let's talk about that. Let's talk yeah. about that as we live under one sky. These are the things that matter to me. You know, they, you know, soil is the new gold. Um, water is the new water. petroleum. Right. And data is the new dollar. Next question for the people in our Discord community is what is your star mm -hmm. sign? your astrological star sign do you even know when's your birthday let's put it that way uh, december 16th if you'd like to know where to send gifts make a donation to a charity of your choice but uh, oh, birthday is december 16th um you know, this explains why you and sky get along to the birth of jesus <laughs> okay well my birthday is <laughs> december 6th Stephen. so we're brothers from another mother clearly okay great under the stars so we're all brothers from another mother and the, are... the rest of the planet wakes up to that reality um, the world will be a better place. Amen. Uh, I've got to say, I think, Stephen, you feel like more plants than planets. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just that's where your focus is. You're looking looking around you, looking down at the ground, not as much as with my star sign. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sagittarius is your star sign. That means you're an archer. You and Sky have more to discuss because you share the same astrological sign. So we'll table that for you two. So the other question from our Discord community is, what do you think is your superpower? Oh, that's easy. Children. Children. <laughs> you know, my superpower is growing children. You're talking to the oldest sixth grader in the world. You know, <laughs> I'm going to lead the child revolution. I am president of the Children's Union. 
And, you know, <laughs> I'm the one who fights for this. So that's my superpower. Well, hey, when you're not busy saving the world and starting a child revolution to save our future and put food on people's table, what is your hobby or creative outlet? How do you just let loose? How do I let loose? I honestly don't feel that I go to work every day. I, I just, you know, I'm living my passion. I do what moves me. Are there things that I love to do? Yeah, it's spending time with my daughter. Um, it's looking up at the sun. It's sometimes just looking at the water. You know, when I was younger, it's interesting. And I used to take great solace in going to the ocean. And I, I love looking at the stars. That's probably my biggest moment of peace. In the middle of the night, I stay up dreaming of a better world and ways to impact kids. And I spend a lot of time looking at the stars. You're among kindred spirits. And so speaking of kindred spirits, Rachel has written, um, she's our pod priestess, we call her, because she <laughs> holds space for us, usually in the beginning of the um, podcast, to hold a space of what we want to create together. This is going to be the power of a plant. The power of a plant. Edible life force. She, like me, starts as a seed. Sprouting, growing, harnessing innate knowledge. Some grow tall, others grow wide, but always with their individual magic inside. The end. Yay! Nice! <laughs>